Hi, I'm Joe Polizzi, and this is the Content Inc. Podcast. Five minutes every Monday for content creators who desire to be content entrepreneurs. Hey gang, I hope you're doing well. As I record this, we're about two weeks out from Content Marketing World and Content Marketing World is the leading in-person event for content marketers. It's an event my wife and I and a group of amazing people started in 2011, and then we sold the business in 2016, but they let me still come and do a keynote. So I get a keynote, 30 minutes, and I'm talking about something called slowing time. And it's the idea about lengthening your runway with strategies that literally no one else will try. And The key part of this for you specifically is take calculated chances so that we can lengthen the runway and create as much time as possible so that we can create profitable creator businesses. As you know from the Tilt research, it takes about 17 months or so just to break even and to have some kind of a content creator business and then 25 months until you can actually hire somebody It takes a long time, so two plus years to actually make this thing go. And it's the same issues that content marketers face. I mean, most content marketing programs or or content programs run by enterprise marketers, marketers at big brands that are trying to drive sales or change customer behavior through content. It takes them just as long or longer to do the things that we're all trying to do. And the problem is content marketing programs fail because they stop. Because somebody in upper level management says, why are we doing this? We shouldn't do it anymore. It's taken too long to get results. And they stop. And so what I'm starting this presentation at Content Marketing World about is the idea of what's the easiest way to get a million dollars. My son and I talk about this on various occasions. And I say, well, the easiest way to get a million dollars is through time. You take $14 per day, you put it away into an S&P index fund, you wait 35 years and you will have a million dollars. So anyone can become a millionaire for the most part if you have enough time. I'm making the case that anyone can be successful in content creation if they give themselves enough time. Now I have a lot of examples, mostly big brand examples in this presentation about the time it takes, but I just want to share one and it's content marketing darling Red Bull. So Red Bull has a content division, a completely separate division called Red Bull Media House, and they started it as a print magazine called the Red Bulletin. It was an on-site daily Formula One magazine started in 2005. It took them two years just to get the monthly. It took them six years just to get U.S. distribution, and they've been going now for 17 years. 17 years, that's a long time. So if you even make the case for Content Marketing Institute, Content Marketing Institute's been around for 15 years. If you look at a content creator like Mr. Beast, you say, oh, well, he just started doing YouTube videos not too long ago. He's been doing YouTube videos for 10 years. So then I'm telling these marketers, hey, if you look at the average stay of an employee today, which is about four years, the average stay of a mid-level marketer is about three years, and the average CMO, chief marketing officer lifespan is about two years, I say, you don't have enough time to just run a solid content marketing strategy. You have to be aggressive. And I'm saying the same for content creators of any size. You have to make calculated, risky, somewhat risky moves to make this thing go. Now, I've got six of these strategies that I'm going to talk about during my Content Marketing World presentation, but I'm going to spend time with you on this podcast just talking about one of them, and it's the idea of email first or email-centric content strategies above everything else. And it's a little contrary to what most content creators think because you've got content creators going into YouTube and TikTok and there's nothing wrong with that. But if you even look at TikTok today, they have 39,000 accounts with over 1 million followers. And the average monthly revenue for those accounts that have over 1 million followers is about $5,000 a month. That's not enough to run a full-time business in most cases. So you have all these people running to TikTok, but they're not able to create an independent content creation business. And why is that? Because there's no control. 
And no control is bad for our business. If you look at distribution, you have no control over who sees your content. You have no control over if they ban you, if they give you more eyeballs or less eyeballs, and you don't control any of the data. So if you have a million followers on TikTok, they're not your million followers, they're TikTok's million followers. So what we're really starting to see is the days of social media are coming to an end. It's all about content discovery. And you see that Instagram and Facebook are both moving in this direction where they're saying, look, we don't care if you talk to each other. We don't care if you find your long lost cousin or you talk to your parents or whatever the case is. All we care about is making sure we get as much content to people as possible and we keep them on the platform as long as possible so that we can sell them as much advertising as possible. At the same time, if you look at the merger and acquisition deals that have happened over the last couple of years, the most valuable content businesses in the world run on email. So if you look at the New York Times buying The Athletic or Industry Dive just being sold to Informa or Axios or Huffington Post or Bleacher Report or any of them that are getting, I don't know, four to 10 times revenue exit multiples, each and every one of these companies have a base in email and they're focused on email. So that's why whatever you do as a content creator, if you start on TikTok, on Snap, on Pinterest, on Twitch, on Instagram, on LinkedIn, on YouTube, on Twitter, whatever the case is, we want to move up the hierarchy and get into channels ultimately that we have more control over and we can drive more revenue directly. So that's through podcasts, through print magazines, through email, through membership, through Web3. So anyways, I just want to throw that out there. So wherever you are at in your content creation process, ultimately we want to have a good sound business model that gets us to control over distribution and control over the data in our model. And if we do that, we will have something successful. So hope to see you at Content Marketing World. It's going to be in Cleveland, September 13th through 16th. I will be presenting on the 15th. I hope to see you there. Please come up to me. Please let me know you heard me on the podcast or or you subscribe to The Tilt, or whatever the case is, and I would love to hear what's going on with your content creation journey and share a drink with you at Content Marketing World. Thanks. Mm -hmm.